Hello everyone and welcome to this Thursday Pick a Card. I'm Sophie from Maison Jupiter and this is your Pick a Card for your message from the other side. I'm going to give you, delivered I should say, a message from the other side directly. So it could be a past loved one, a person that you have lost that was really close to your heart or also a pet. If you are like me, I just lost Sambuca a few days ago. So I'm going to do it as well for me and for you guys. We're going to be in this together. So before we start, if you want to activate your intuition, I invite you to take a deep breath in and out. Once more, deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes if you have closed them. And the right pal will be the first one that jumps to your eyes and that attracts your attention. Don't try to know the names of the stones. It's not serving you to use your logical side of the brain. Don't try to go with numbers or whatever is logical. Just go with your intuition. Just go with what feels right. And if you're not sure, this is where you can pause and come back later just to take some more time to, to know which one you want to take. And use a timestamp below to go directly to your reading if you want to. I'm going to start with group number one. If you are group number two or three, just use a timestamp below. I will see you in a minute. Okay, so let's start with your reading group one. A group one, this is your message from the other side. What is it? We have, oh, so cute. It's the guardian card. Okay, it says a lost, oh my God, I swear I did not stage that at all. It's a new deck. I don't even know what are the other cards. This is crazy. Uh, group one, definitely you have somebody watching over you. Guardian, a lost loved one watches you watch over you, sorry. This is absolutely adorable. Okay, so let's see more. I wanna check, I'm just going to remove my bracelet, it makes some noise, it's bothering me. I wanna check what is the message that we have from this uh, guardian from the other side. So for sure, if you get this card, group one, it means that you have asked or wondered, are they truly watching over me? Are they truly there? Do they stay connected to me? And this is your confirmation. So if you have wondered or asked recently uh, about this, this is your answer to your prayer. They're saying, yes, I'm watching over you. Yes, I'm your little angel, your little guardian. So don't worry, they're still right there. That would also mean, because this is a collective message, guys, so take that as it resonates, uh, that could also mean that for some of you, you were their own, you were their own guardian angel. You were taking care of them. You were uh, there every time that they needed it. You were there every time that they needed support, that they needed love, that they needed anything. You were their own guardian angel. And now it's their turn to... Uh, do the same for you and they're doing this gladly. So I'm going to take one oracle card to add a layer to this. It says transparency. Okay, let's see what this is about. So you get the card 43 and it says transparency. It says the energy of trans transparency supports the your expansion towards a higher uh, vibrational state of being with more inside honesty and clarity. Okay. So that means that uh, they have access to your thoughts, your feelings, and now they can see the bigger picture. Now they can see what was left unsaid, and now they can really understand you on a deeper level. They can also always connect with you and send a lot of messages to you really fast. Why I'm saying this? It's because uh, there is this lifting of the veil that I'm sensing with this card of transparency. And you don't have a lot of 
uh, blockage between you and them anymore. So reading that card again, it was saying the higher vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity. Yeah, this is exactly right. So if you were wondering, well, I had this secret or I have this that was left unsaid, they know everything now and they still love you they still care for you and they're still taking care sorry that's my new cat screaming and they're still yeah i have another screamer i'm sorry about this and uh they're still taking care of you my cat screaming means i'm assuming that this is completely right okay let's get another card another message I'm going to use another oracle that i don't use often Let's add another layer to this. We have a Socrate, and it's the number 35, the Divine Connection. Wow, you guys. Um, if you're part of group number one, let me know, because this is absolutely wonderful, your reading so far. What you're getting is a confirmation that your connection was a Divine Connection, that you were completely meant to happen in this lifetime and that you could not have missed this connection this was something really meaningful and this connection was something that needed to happen so i'm going to add another an sorry i cannot speak i will add another layer now i can speak with my tarot deck and let's see what is their message Where do I put those cards though? Okay, I'm done. Let's do it. So, what is the message for group one from the other side, please? I have the five of wands, I have the hierophant. Let's put it here. Okay, yeah, and I have the six of pentacles and the last card is three of wands so three of wands means i'm watching over you this is my card in uh, most of my readings that is that means the distance but i always see this person looking from above like a person from the other side watching over you and this seems to be the big message so for some of you maybe you were asking can i get some support from the other side guys i need some support is there anyone on my side on the other side that is really working for me that is really trying to help me this is a yes a big big yes um, it says that you are you may be struggling on some level in your life right now because we have the five of wands, which means uh, five are by the way, guys, five are just temporary. So the fact the fact that we have this five of wands it means that you may have been struggling in the recent past because it's the past position, or you are currently still struggling from their passing or from something else but it says you still have the protection and it's another five so five could be meaningful for you guys also we have the number 35 right there so there could be a message with the number five for you guys uh, you are protected and they are also saying i'm just simply repaying a debt i'm just simply giving back what you gave me i am always going to watch for you and help you to the level that I can because you were always there and I need to do that because not only do I have to pay my debt but also because it's just fair and I really appreciate it. And that's my way of saying thank you so this is a big thank you from the other side I would like to ask them what was your soul contract together Can I grab the deck? Yeah, I will try to. Okay, I can. <laughs> okay, let's see. What was your soul contract? I'm going to use my Cosmic Contract uh, Oracle deck. Some of you asked which deck I'm using. There is a lot, so I'm not going to name them all, but once in a while when I, I can, I will name some. So what was your contract together? It says counterpart i will touch the deepest part of you so this was again it says divine connection and now we have this basically it means that this was a very deep and profound connection and that you you had this 
um, to open you up to being vulnerable, to open you up to being feel seen and heard and trigger you in ways that no others can trigger you, good or bad, good and bad, and really able to, um, to figure you out, understand you. And it makes me feel like this uh, touch a defense part of you, yes, but we have this transparency. So during their life or even after, there is this very raw and authentic way of connection between the two of you that has no boundaries and has no uh, filter. So depending on your situation, that could be a person that is part of your same soul as you or the same soul tribe or somebody that is simply knowing you for so many past life together that feels like you belong together in the same soul tribe or the same soul. Very, very intense connection. Uh, the last card I want to take, I said that maybe again <laughs> before, but I want to take one more. I want to take one more. I want to see what is the future is this connection. The chariot, they will come back. Yeah, the chariot is moving forward. It's a card of evolution and number seven. And uh, for me, it means that they want to come back to you. Very funny because I was watching this the seven there, but we have five little dots right there. Um, so again, the number five, five is movement, is movement and we have uh, this card with movement. So very interesting that in all of this, the number five is the card of the number of love. It's the number of movement of all things temporary also. So take that as it resonates. But for some of you, what it means is that uh, you may have been gone through, you're going through currently a big situation, but you are receiving so much love and protection from them. And they still are trying to help you with whatever is going on in your life. So that was your message, guys. So if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at MaisonJupiter.com. And uh, until uh, tonight, we have uh, the 25% off on all readings and also candles. And we have 25% on uh, natal chart. So there it is. I love you guys. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Let's grab this and change for the group number two. Group two, what is your message from the other side? We have Mercury retrograde. It says electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. Okay, so that could mean that you are having problems connecting to the people from the other side or they have problems communicating to you. Maybe there is some signs that you receive that you don't grasp the, the meanings. Maybe you receive numbers, for example, or songs or whatever it is, and you wonder, what is it? What is it? And there is a lack of communication or there is a lack of a clarity in those things. Also, you could be having issues right now with electronic or with cars. That could be the case for you. If that is, this is a very personal message from the other side. I would uh, review your car um, for sure, we currently, if you're watching today, uh, we're not going to have Mercury retrograde yet, but it's going to be uh, April 1st for all the month, all, almost all the month of April. And this is when we have electronic issues. So um, if you need a checkup for your car, I would do it right now. That may be one of the message for you guys, if that resonates from the other side. And let's see. I'm going to use my Oracle deck to see this connection. What do we have there? Sensitivity. The frequency of sensitivity helps us to open the world of subtlety and details while anchoring in a structural foundation, thus supporting us to become more fully uh, multidimensional. Okay. Yeah, so we have a 3D card and then we have a very 5D energy. In this connection, in number 35, in this connection, I am feeling that we have a problem because we're not on the same um, on the same plan. So we can be talking with somebody that passed recently or we can be talking with somebody that has 
uh, still a lot of grief and we're having problem to connect on the same frequency. So let's add more to this uh, reading. I want to check with my other Oracle deck that I don't use very often and let's see what we have. The Soul Journey, the number three with St. Christopher. Okay, interesting. So I'm starting to see where they want to go with this. Um, it's a general reading, of course, but I'm sensing that for some of you, you may have uh, a big, um, yeah, a big grief going on right now about them or about other things in your life so if this person or this pet passed away a long time ago but you're currently going through another kind of grief change of jobs or a lower frequency of maybe you're struggling with seasonal depression or you're struggling with a lot of stress or you're struggling with uh, a breakup uh, this could mean why you're having problems connecting with them or feeling that you are receiving messages from the other side. Whatever that is, it's not that they are not there to support you on the other side. It's simply uh, that they have problem with using uh, your sensibility at this point because you're not on the same frequency. So because of this, uh, the cards will be very useful to understand what is their message Let's use it right now. I'm going to use my tarot deck. And let's see what is the message that they are trying to give you at this point from the other side. Six of cups. Oh, yeah. Okay. I will move that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Virgo brain already. Okay. Is it better? I think it is. Okay. Six of cups. The Empress, Ten of Wands, Five of Wands, and we have the High Priestess. There is so many different messages in this. This is why it's a collective message. Okay, so what I'm getting for you guys yeah, I'm still feeling this heavy grief with the Ten of Wands in the middle. I'm still feeling this heavy grief. It, I'm saying grief, but it could be another kind of very intense energy, heavy, heavy uh, energy, lower energy. So lower has nothing to do with uh, we're doing something bad. It has to do with there is things in our life that happens, and that happens to everybody. Once in a while, we have hits. We have things that are not doing, uh, working for the best. And it's intense. So because of this, just be aware that you need to nurture yourself more to be able to receive more of those messages. Your person on the other side could be uh, a family member, um, a pet, uh, a child, or a, a parent. Why? Because it's very intimate. Those energies, those cards are very, very intimate. Very close to you. It says unconditional love. And we have the card of the mother, um, the card of the woman. So it could mean that we are dealing with a very, very intense person near us that we lost. And we are dealing currently with a big face where we're saying, where are you? I need you. Are you even helping me from the other side? Um, there is also something that has been hidden from you. So this person from the other side is trying to say to you, I know you're going through a lot, I cannot reach you right now because of this frequency. But on top of it, there is something that is being hidden from you on purpose. So you're struggling a lot right now. Let's take one more. I want to see what is being hidden. You're struggling a lot right now. And I wish I could tell you what is being hidden from you. We have lack of clarity on top of secret. Yeah, let's see more. Oh. Okay, that's a good card, guys. This is very good. Okay, this person cannot reach you. This person from the other side is saying, I cannot reach you, but what I will do, I will send someone in a 3D, an opportunity or a person or a pet, apply as it resonates because there's so many people going to watch the same group, but someone is going to be sent to help you in their name. 
and this is what yeah that's why we had all of these things with i'm not on the same frequency i'm not on earth i am not there you're not matching my frequency i cannot reach you and i know you're struggling so let me do this let me send you this person on the same frequency or let me send you this person on the same plan as you on a 3d plan to help you because you're struggling and be accepting of that person four of cups is rejection on gen in general this person not looking at the cup this person is um, not looking, not taking that cup in his hand. I want to check one more on why you're struggling. You're struggling with your self-love. Could be with romance also on the need that we have held. A lot of different scenarios, but what I'm sensing is that your energy is down. Your self-worth could be down. That could be because of health or health is in play. That could be because of love life, because love life is not going on really well. But no matter the symptoms, what is really going on right now is that your self-care is a bit down. Your self-love is down. And because of that, everything is affected by this. So I don't really know what started this, but you're very you're really struggling right now with your self-worth. But something is going to be sent to you because nothing else can reach you. Very interesting. So I will take one more card. I want to check with the Cosmic Contract um, Oracle. What was your contract with this person that is on the other side? <laughs> it's very negative card. This is weird. Parasite. It says, I will suck the life out of you. Right. Okay intense okay um why do we have this parasite let's take one more there's no mistakes sabotage okay now i'm sensing it um remember when i said that this person is uh, very near to your heart and we have this i'm um, not on the same vibration and everything I think that this person, your, your soul contract is to say to you that basically you are in a, in a self-sabotage mode and they are there to help you with this. And they are trying to basically make you see that uh, you have to get rid of something in your life that is sucking the life out of you. I don't think it's, this is your soul contract with them. I think that their soul contract with you is to make you see what you need to get rid of so you can get the best out of your life. This is their contract with you now. I don't know if this was your, your contract with you when they were alive. For some of you, a little uh, part of this group will have this big soul contract with them that they were asking for you, uh, asking from you a lot of energy. But I'm getting that it's more the opposite. I, I'm getting that they are now helping you to remove the self sabotage and helping you to remove what is uh, trying to block you from um, to to get better life. So this is a very positive soul contract. But they are making you see that you need to change something big time. You need to change your vibration. And this may not come from you directly, but you need to take action to get rid of what is responsible for this. So this is your message group too. And I know it's intense, I know, but this is your message group too. I hope you liked it. And it was I was able to bring you some um maybe some insight about what was going on. This person from the other side loves you absolutely very much. So thank you very much. If you need a personal reading, you can book with me at MaisonJupiter.com. Love you. See you next week. Group three. What is your message from your person on the other side? You have honeymoon, honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Okay. So this could be um, a person that uh, you that was married or you were married to or someone that uh, what, that died very soon still in the honeymoon phase of your connection romantic or not could be even a pet that died soon or still in the honeymoon phase um, there is a lot of different people watching so a lot of different scenarios for the group three that's for sure 
Let's see more. I'm going to add another layer with my Oracle deck. Reflection. It says the energy of reflection support our growth through the insight we get from, from the contemplation of self and others. Uh, honeymoon and reflection. That sounds like twin flame so far. Or oh, very much alike. Very, very connected. So you guys were very similar. And we have a number 33 with this. So you guys were very similar. And because of that similarity, you were able to grow. Because you were, you were a mirror of the other person. So what you didn't like from them, it was what you needed to work on. And vice versa. So a bit mirror to see where you needed to grow and where you were really positive and strong and very good so let's see more i want to check with my other oracle deck for group number two what is a message from the other side for them please we have a life lesson maybe you lost them too soon with this life lesson, your meeting was very much needed for you to be able to see your own word. Maybe your own word was not able to, you were not able to see it through your own eyes. You needed to love someone that has the same uh, qualities as you to be able, my God, my cat is screaming, I'm sorry, to be able to, um, to basically appreciate yourself in someone's uh reflection that's very intriguing so let's see more i'm going to use my tarot deck uh, it's a titanic tarot deck by the way so if those cards are a bit different that's normal let's see another layer of this connection and what is the message they have for you page of coins let's make some space here i will have some more cards so page of coins right there. Okay, what else is there? Six of cups, queen of coins, and the last card, please. We have the lovers. The reflection, do you see what I'm saying? The reflection. On Danita deck, we have ace of cups. Honeymoon with uh, six of cups. Um... This person is, is saying that we did not went through the whole deal with our connection. We had so much more. I could have stayed very much uh, longer with you. There was so much more things to explore. Um, this was a connection that was never felt before. This is the greatest love I have ever felt. If this is, uh, who that, whoever that is, this person loves you so much and wants you to know that whatever qualities you saw in them, you have them. And whatever talent you saw in them, you have it. And if this is a person, a pet, or whatever it is, this connection, it is still in a honeymoon stage. That means that you still have more. You will have more in, in future lifetime together. There was something I was not able to reach uh, the maturity in this and sometimes it's very good it just means that uh, you were not you, you were not uh, having a lot of conflict I don't see it if if you had honestly it was it was uh, with yourself in this because of the life lesson card the number 13 life lesson number 13 it's uh, the death card by the way so I am assuming that this was uh, this was removed from your life again too soon what else do we have as a message that we have a queen of coins saying that uh your value was really much the, the reason why this connection happened like i said in the beginning you were not able to see your own value so you had to had this connection to see it i would like to see what was your soul contract together and what is the future of this connection so let's start with the soul contract. Ego death. I will make you question everything. Yep. On on top of the card of the death. Like I was saying, the number 13 in tarot is the card of the death. Um, death in a good sense. In a sense of uh, deep change. Deep, deep, deep change. 
So this passing could have trigger to love yourself more, could have trigger to work on yourself more. And this was really much your, um, this was really your, your soul contract together to make you change your perspective on things. And this person was happy to, to have this soul contract with you because they knew this would be profound. And they knew that would be a connection that would change your whole future lives together. Let's see more. I would like to see the future of this connection. I will take two cards. I don't have any space left, so I will have to create space. Okay. Five of sword and king of swords. Underneath the deck uh, is the two of cups. So I know with the two of cups that you already have an agreement to meet again in future lives. And five of swords means basically that there is something unfinished and that what is unfinished will be worked on future lives. It's thing that were left unsaid. If I split the deck, we have the death card again, guys. Wow, three times the card of the death. Okay. Maybe this person, you were not able to say goodbye. Maybe you were not able to say what needed to be said uh, to them before, yeah, before the passing. Yeah, yeah, that's basically the message. Um, or you were unable to realize what you should have been saying to them before the passing. Whatever that is, this will be happening again this connection will be happening again not the same ending I'm, I'm assuming but you will have another chance at at this connection and the king of sword in the next life tells me that you will have clarity and you will make sure you have clarity with this person i would like to check i know it's a lot of cards but i would like to check if you are uh, twin flame so i'm just going to split the deck for some of you are twin flame the world there is too many people watching for me to be able to confirm that everyone watching is um, twin flames. But the fact that we have the world means that you have played many roles for each other. So it's it's very much uh, a connection that is uh, super strong. Five of Cups mean that you will see them in dreams if it's not already happening. And uh, their message for you is basically, I will see you again. I know we had this um, this debt happening too soon. So don't worry. This is just the beginning. And we will have clarity. So use this time apart, group three, to really understand your own value and to work on making your life a very good life where you, because of the plan I'm thinking of traveling, if you need to, or if you need to uh, push your fears aside and to work on your gifts, this is where it's really necessary to do it so we can change in the next life that ending. This is what I have for you guys. I hope that it resonates and I hope that I can bring you some answers. If you need a personal reading, you can book with me at MaisonJupiter.com. And this was your reading from the other side. Don't forget that even though we don't see them, they are always present and that we are always protected at all time. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.